Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today's video is going to be on Celestium Blue Contrast Paint. <laughs> Contrast paints are transparent, fluid paints that are meant to go over a light-coloured primer. Their hue and vibrancy changes depending on the colour of the primer underneath, and for this particular contrast paint, Celestian Blue, it is very much the case. This one has so much pigment, and the only way to show it off to its greatest potential is to put a light primer underneath. The one that I'm painting right now is Wraithbone, that's an off-white cream colour by Citadel. The one that I'll be painting after that is going to be Gracier, that's a off-white grey primer. So Wraithbone is a warm colour, bringing in a little bit of yellow to the mix, while Gracier is a colder colour, bringing a tiny bit of blue to the mix. If you want it to be even brighter still, though, you can put it over white. If you want it to be even brighter beyond that, then you thin it down with a bit of contrast medium to really bring out the blue, though I like it as is, and for the most part I would be using it with an alternative contrast paint to make the brightest blue possible, really. If you put it over a black primer instead, unfortunately all you would get is a darker black with, if you look really, really, really closely, a hint of blue. Here I primed the miniature with lead belcher and then highlighted that lead belcher with the Leo Metal Color Chrome, so the airbrush at this color looks beautiful over silver, for armor, for scales, likely for cool glowing effects that I'll have to try in the future. As you can see, it does dull down the metallic a bit, but it makes such a vibrant metallic blue that I think would go really nicely for some special little spice marines or dragon scales, anything like that. If you wanted to create a stone like a lapis lazuli, I think this would match really nicely too. Now, what colours would I want to mix with it? I mentioned previously that I would use another contrast paint to give Celestian Blue its highlight. Well, my first thought is Talisar Blue. So here I have a Jean Steeler miniature that has been primed with Wraithbone, and then I just dry brushed a bit of white over its raised areas to give it a tiny bit more contrast. Probably don't even notice it, but I did it anyway. So the first thing I do is I apply Talisar Blue. And then while that Talisar Blue is still wet, I apply the Celestium Blue anywhere that I would want shadows for the Talisar Blue. And together, I think it really brings out a really pretty blue colour. You can use Talisar Blue alone, but um, the shadows that it makes are quite dark and more subdued in the intensity of colour. And I just think that this Celestium Blue can make for a really beautiful shadow for Talisar Blue. You let me know what you think in the comments. Now, that isn't to say I can only shadow blues. What if I want to do something completely different and shadow reds, like this Doomfire Magenta? So when you combine this directly with the Doomfire Magenta, you can make a really pretty dark burgundy or maroon. In a lot of cases, when you are combining two paints together, the mix that you make out of those two paints are dulled down, but because these colours have so much vibrancy in them, so much pigment, which is why I like them so much, you can combine them and still have a very vibrant paint as the mix of the two of them. You can also put it over once the magenta has dried as a really neat shadow. Of course, you could use black for this, but I think the blue really turns it into a very dark purple, and I, re I just really like the look of it on anything biological, on butterfly wings, on fairy wings, uh, on tyranids, on probably vampires, on clothing that you want to make very vibrant. When you're dealing with bright paints like this, there's so much you can do, and I've only scratched the surface on what I could do with this one. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe if you did, make certain to comment below if you had any questions about Celestium Blue or the other contrast paints or paints in general that I have covered on the channel. If you want to find out as soon as I put out the next video, make certain that you hit that bell notification after you have subscribed. I will catch you in the next video, bye! If I was going to do a night 
sky of some kind using the airbrush over like a tank the beautiful night sky with purples and blues and blacks and spark and stars I will be using this blue tell me what tank should be spectacular in night form oh and seraphim sparkly seraphim night sky seraphim that'd be so pretty Mm. <laughs> so many choices so many choices to do oh i'm excited okay 